A car full of teenagers in a stolen Kia careens out of control at a busy Renton intersection, slams into an innocent driver, and then narrowly misses a business. And three of those young people are now in critical condition. Thank you for joining us. I'm Monique McLaughlin. And I'm Aaron Wright. This crash happened just before midnight near Renton Avenue South and Airport Way. Cairo 7's Didi Sun is live in Renton and Didi. It feels like we're talking about a stolen Kia, stolen Hyundai every single day. This has got to be part of a bigger trend. It definitely is Aaron and Monique. In this case, though, the teens ran a red light at that intersection you see behind me, basically T-boning an SUV. And here you can see the marks on the road that shows where they lost control. These orange markers take you across this driveway. They continue into these bushes here. You can still see the debris left behind, as well as the damage and some stuff, too, all causing a big mess out here outside of this business. And Benton police say this problem of teens stealing certain cars is only getting worse. It's going crazy around here, it really is. A stolen red Kia with five to six teens inside slamming into this curb, narrowly missing the rent and laundry. That was a pretty violent collision, so there were a number of the occupants of the Kia that were injured. Renton police say the driver is 18 years old, and the teens in the car are as young as 14. Harborview Medical Center says three are still in critical condition. Some parents in the area heard about what happened. Yeah, I, I came to pray. I literally, I came to pray. Uh... It's very unfortunate. Yeah, it's, and scary. It's, it's scary. In Renton alone, the city saw 313 vehicles stolen in just January and February this year. About 150 of them were Kias or Hyundais. It's a stark contrast to last year, when in the same time frame, Renton saw 194 vehicles stolen with only seven Kias or Hyundais. That means the number of stolen Kias and Hyundais has increased 21-fold in Renton compared to last year. That's unprecedented. That seems to be associated with a lot more young suspects than uh, a lot of other auto thefts there. The Puget Sound Auto Theft Task Force has been offering free steering wheel locks for certain targeted Kia and Hyundai owners to make it a little harder to steal these cars. Having these Hyundais and Kias that are really easy to break into really makes it a lot easier for these kids to do all this really, really bad stuff. The car manufacturers are also in the middle of rolling out software upgrades to certain models to prevent the car stealing method popularized on TikTok. We're, we're just hoping that the trend will, will slow down or stop uh, getting in contact and arresting more of these kids and getting them in the system, getting them to resources. That will help in the long run. The driver in this case had minor injuries and was booked into the King County Jail after he was treated. Now, police say that they agree there needs to be programs and things to help deter teens and get them help, but also say there needs to be consequences for the teens who are causing crimes like this. Live tonight in Renton, DD Sun, Cairo 7 News.